Stranger, by the look of thee, another of Mesmer's peons me six. Tell me, does thy kind never weary grow? How do these old bones fascinate thee yet? Our lands were by thy kind set aflame, our tower by thy kind veiled in shadow. Thou capest, robbing us of all. Spoiling all, have ye not basked in these deeds long enough? Listen, progeny of the wanton's trumpet. For thy sins thou shalt have thy recompense. The sacred beast shall unleash its ire. Till then, with this old hag, do what thou wilt. For all the good it'll do thee in the end. For what reason dost thou falter, villain? Enact thy sordid work with fullest pride. Else tuck away thy tail and leave for good. Loath issue of the rotten strumpet. Be gone. These lands were ours since times of old. Be gone. These lands were ours since times of old. To smell the scent again. Does a sculpted keeper stand before me? Oh, as I felt the sacred beast's essence fade, a great anxiety welled up within. Forgive this old woman her foolish fears. Tis such relief I cannot express. After an eternity of the mind, our voices have at last reached the heavens, as if it's by thy gracious arrival. Oh! 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 I implore, vessel of the sacred beast, have my son accompany thee to war. And dance thy dance of beauteous color. Take vengeance upon Mesmerity's lot. They who betrayed us, I, they who burned us, let them face in thy wrath their just deserts. My song will I sing in service to thee. 
Heavens, great and gallant sculptor keeper, I know it in my bones. Thy deed is done. A worthy deed, no doubt, to bring our foes what surely was deserved recompense. Oh, oh, heaven hath borne witness to our plight. Thy gleaming wrath an unparalleled dance. Though a trifle it might seem to thee, I have prepared a dish in celebration. It would please me much if thou might partake. Partake, partake, until thou art sated. Rightfully avenged we would be. I have never known such joy as this. Sculpted Keeper, oh great and gallant Sculpted Keeper, wert thou by this old maid unduly pushed into facing such labors as thou didst? Has our grave resentment fettered thee? With such bounteous fury didst thou dance, 
I cannot presume thou didst not suffer. Please, I ask thee, allow thyself some rest. None of the tower would dare interfere. And if one should, I'll see to them myself. <laughs> Apologies, O oh noble visitor, but wouldst thou permit me a little rest? Mine eyes are oft apt to glaze over. The years taking their toll, tis plain to see. Even telling dream from reality is a task increasingly beyond me. Apologies. 